Viewers and subscribers, welcome again to the Coach's Desk with host Coach Menzi. And we just want to say big up to all the subscribers out there, all the viewers of our channel. Give thanks. Bless upon yourself. If you are new, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. So when we drop these latest videos, you will be notified. Alright, now, we just want to continue on highlighting some reggae boys and one youngster that we're gonna highlight is one Kahim Paris yes very good in the um, player I believe that he's a natural talent he's a raw talent and we hope that this talent will be harnessed and he will get to the level that he is supposed to get to. Um, he's from Saint Anne, yes, and he, he played for he played the Costa Cup for Dintil Technical High School. Yeah, man, he, he, he played some beautiful um, game for Dintil. Um, they went to finals, they went to semi-finals. He, he was just one of the outstanding youngster on that Dintil Technical team if not the most outstanding player. Scored a lot of goals um, from midfield there. And um, he left Dintil. He had another year of eligibility and he left Dintil and he went on to Cavalier. I think he went on a stint, um, trial stint, didn't make it um, at that club. Then he, 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 he went to the Cavalier Football Club where he played... 39 games and scored eight goals so kahim paris is is a is a known footballer in jamaica through the ranks of as i said the docosta cup then into the premier league um just to track back a little bit um he played for national teams in terms of the under 17 under 20 and um, he, he made his under-17 debut in 2016 in the CFU qualifying. And he also played in the Conquer Cup under-17 final round. So he has a little bit of experience there with the national team. He was part of the Jamaica under-20 team at the 2018 um, Conquer Cup U20 Championship. And... With his, 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 his talent, um, the coaching staff, the management um, team at the JFF saw it fit to give him his senior team debut. He made that debut in August of 2017. And um, the last game that he played for Jamaica was in that 3-0 loss against Saudi Arabia down there in Saudi Arabia. So... Kaim Paris is no stranger. Like I said before, he's a raw talent. Now, he left Cavalier in 2019-2020 season for Domzali, out on loan over there in Europe. Um, he only played one game for that team. And they sent him out on loan again for a team, KRK. I'm not going to even try and pronounce that, <laughs> that te team's name. He went out on loan and he has been doing extremely well, exceptionally well with that team. I think he probably has found his niche with that team. Um, he has made nine appearances for that team. And he has scored nine goals. That, a, that is a very decent ratio to have as a midfielder. Mark you, he's not a, a, a forward. Uh, he's a midfielder. And to be playing nine games and scoring nine goals, that, that, that is a very good um, goal scoring ratio that he, he, he's having there. We, we see Karim Paris, Kahim Paris reaching 
to the heights of football, like I said earlier, is a raw talent, natural talent. This talent just need um, a little bit of development, um, fine tuning, refine this talent, so that this talent can uh, do better than he is currently doing. Um, when we saw him there on the national, he has he has speed, he, he has a little flair. Um, I think more games will give him more confidence. Um, yes, so I I believe that the the club that he's at over there in Europe Europe, I hope that they will aid in the development of this player and that experience that he's getting over there in Europe, then we hope that it can be transferred to the national program if they consider keeping him. I do believe he's one of the young talents that should be kept around the national team as well. Making it to the final um, squad for the Gold Cup and the World Cup or the World Cup qualifying is another thing. Um, but I do believe that this youngster should be around the national program. He should be among these top players, rubbing shoulders with them, like I said about a Peter Lee Vassar, like I said about uh, uh, that that player there. Um, his name is, is, is hard to come by right now, but uh, Maggie, yes, that Maggie player. Um, these are the youngsters that should uh, be around the national team if we are looking at development, if we are looking at um, um, taking players to the next level, if we are looking at, at about ensuring that our youngsters are a part of the program. These are some of the youngsters that should be around the national team. Kahim Paris is one of them. He has a bright future. Um, I do believe that his, 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 his frame needs a little bit more work in terms of uh, getting probably stronger. I'm not sure what his paces are going through at those uh, those clubs that he would have been at. But I do believe that he should be hitting the gym, getting some strength. Uh, he should be working hard um, if he wants to continue to hold on his position in the national team because he's going up against the likes of Leon Bailey for position, Daniel Johnson and a Ravel Morrison. And it's he's also competing with a Peter Lee Vassal and a, a, a Tyreek McGee. So definitely the position that he's playing is, is, is a jam-packed area right now. So he has to be putting in the work, the hard work to ensure that he holds down his spot in this national team whenever he's called upon he should be ready rearing to go to put in a master class performance to ensure that he would be a part of this team it, it was like fabian is it fabian davis no uh that that that, that player there uh what's his name again he used to play the, the the left back position you can remind me down below in the comment section and he got hurt and a young Bibi Gardner came into that position and he held on that position. So so if, if Karim Paris wants to be a part of this team, he has to continue to work hard. He has to continue to put in the work to ensure that whenever he gets his chance, he'll take it with both hands. He will latch onto it and do well that he can't be omitted from that team. So um definitely we need players like these with flair speed um he, he needs to work though on, on on decision making part of his game he needs to work on 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 yes decision making because once a decision is made then he'll be able to move the ball he'll be able to pass the ball he'll be able to dribble or he he, he will be able to shoot so the decision making is a critical part of these youngsters game. I do believe that they need to work on it. How are they going to work on it? I think they should watch more clips. They should get more game time at the clubs that they are. Uh, that, they sh that they would be able to um, hone their skills and get better at it. 
But with these clubs, sometimes they don't give the chances that the the, the local clubs would uh, would give. So they have to ensure that they impress from the onset. So definitely, Kaheem Paris is one to watch for the future. As long as he stays healthy, as long as he improves his game, um, he has the, the prerequisite of a footballer. So definitely, I've seen some goals that he scored um, on his loan. And definitely, there are some good goals. He ran into position. He, he, he shoots well with the left foot. So definitely, he's one to watch for the future. Coaches this fam, thank you for tuning in. Big up yourself. Continue to enjoy what we um, put out here on the coach's desk. 2021, we're going to put out more content. So look out. Big up yourself. I'm out.